Yo guys, it's me Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords. We are up with our other team in the WDC Evolution Extravaganza. So, this is the second division, or the first division, the Waylord division. Um, we are up against Dunikin and his Midland Marowax. Now, no surprises at the moment, but I have not been doing too great in some of my recent matches. Uh, they're not been going brilliantly. Uh, but we'll try again here. My opponent this week has got Torkoal. Um, they have Scovillain as the Grass, Vaporeon as their Evolution, Persian Alola for the Dark type Umbreon. They have At the Backs as the Ice type, they have Tinkerton as the Fairy, they have Pormot as the Electric, and they have Slowbro Galar as the Psychic. Now, a bit of a mixed bag of team team here. We got Decidui Hisuian with Triple Arrow's Leaf Blade Torn and Protect is pretty decent. Uh, we got the very stallyish Umbreon with Taunt, Foul Play, Snarl and Rain Dance to try and offset some of that sun um, boosted damage. Arcanine Hisui I think is going to be pretty good with Flash Fire Immunity and Terra Grass with the Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide and Terra Blast. It's also got a clean amulet to ignore the stat drops from the opponent. Now we got Terra Ground Zoom Reel, uh, Liquidation Play Rough, Terra Blast, and Trailblaze. Don't fully remember the reason for the Trailblaze, but there we go. Um, I think it might be just to hit Vaporeal. I don't know. Maybe just get a speed boost here or there. Uh, we have Braviary with Psychic, Hurricane, Protect, and Tailwind. I was very mixed about this Braviary set. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. It survives a double shot from Pormont with the Wakanberry. But um, I've gone for Terra Psychic, just to boost its psychic damage. And it has got the Sheer Force, so it's not going to be any confusions or any spin-off drops from Psychic or Hurricane. I wasn't sure if I wanted to run it with Tinted Lens or not. The only one it can't really touch um, is Steel or, well, any Terra Steel types. And... Tinkerton. And then we've got Luxray with the Covert Cloak, Light Screen, Raw, Terra Blast, and Thunderbolt. So, yeah, we did have uh, safety goggles on this Luxray for a little bit, but uh, decided to run it with Covert Cloak instead because of, I could see Fake Out being kind of annoying from the poor mop. Um, uh, especially if I want to go for like Raws. And that's why we ended up putting Taunt on the Decidueye instead as a way around the Rage Powder. So. And with that, we'll hop into the match. And here we are. <clears throat> Good luck and have fun done. Pretty much what I expected. I didn't expect the Arc to back, so I will admit. Uh, that one kind of surprises me a little bit. Kind of annoying for the um, some of the Terra types, especially like the Terra Grass and Terra Ground that I have on the team. Um, but it's a smart, smart to have it. Um, back to my opinion, because they are quite weak to like ground. Um, they don't have the <clears throat> Tinkerton, which makes it a little bit better for Braviary's raw damage output. And they don't have the Paul mock, which is kind of surprising. Okay, so I think we're just going to lead Umbreon plus... I, I feel like Luxray. I have Luxray or Braviary. Um, we'll bring Braviary up front, I think. We're going to bring the Arcanine back. Do I bring Luxray or do I bring Rabbit? In the back. Uh, we'll bring Rabbit. I definitely see like a tricking type uh, situation here. I'm just wondering if, if leading Braviary was the right call. If they lead Scoville plus Slowbro. Maybe you should have. Uh, Played around that a little bit better. Okay, so it's just straight up so. Okay. So here I could snarl, or I, could, I think I can just rain dance. Um, the skill going to be moving faster than me. Um, I don't, I don't know. Could have some rock moves. Don't think it's going to have anything too impactful to Umbreon here. 
Um, might be useful to just attack, but I'm gonna go for the tail. Well, don't need to. Don't need to tailwind. So let's just go for the psyche into the torpor. I know hurricane does more damage, especially with the rain being active. Um, so let's do that. Die? Yeah, I do think I'd die. We get the rain dance off. This is pretty strong. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Oof. So much so that you actually survived that. That's pretty good. Braviary. Well done. <clears throat> um I don't know. I don't know if I'll be faster than the Scoble here. So we're gonna go for the snout. I could protect. Um, but I f they're not gonna go for a flamethrower. Um, snout should pick up the K on the top hole. That's what I thought they'd do. Okay, that's that's okay. I don't mind this. The big point in coming in is okay. Ah, it's kind of frustrating. The skill villain is running quite a bit of speed. My brain really might have been better off just going for the tailwind the last turn. A nice little uh, snout going there. Um, I'm just going to bring out Big Boy. Because my best bet is I I could taunt the Vaporeon. Hmm. I'd rather just do that snarl again. Tear a blast here. Could tear a blast or I could rock slide, but we're gonna tear a blast into Vaporeon. I I, I could see the Vaporeon terroring as well. Okay, helping hand. I'm not too worried about that. This is good damage. Especially in this vape up. Oh. Huh. My um my Umbreon is faster than my Raviary by one point. Oh, it's helping have from Scoville. That makes sense. I, I couldn't see because the uh, Arcanine. Wow. Yeah, crit. Okay. That was pretty big. Um, honestly, like, taunt is just the best thing I can do here. Um, not taunt. Snow. Uh, could rock slide. I'll pick up the K on the Scoville, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's go for the box light here. Yeah, swapping the torque hole. Now it gets the sun boost here, which is pretty cool. Into and beyond, shouldn't be doing too much. Uh, who did it miss? Ah, it's kind of annoying because I was the one I was hoping I'd hit. That's unfortunate. You might have realised I'm flash fire. We need to get rid of that Scoville villain for, the, for my last mom, because they've got Gaga Drain. I'm going to keep Sun up, I think. Ooh, there's the slow bro. Uh, no, I could foul play that. Uh, we're just going to flare blitz it. I don't know what its terror type is. I imagine it's not water. Oh, dark. Okay. 
Okay, I'm fine with this flare blitz then. I think I'm fine with it. Quick draw could be a thing. Just gotta be careful. Yeah. Big flare blitz. Oof, nice flare blitz, nice flare blitz. And the burn. Oof. As long as Ombron hits him. Yeah, it does. We get what we need. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we learn that it's Terra Dark, which is fair. It becomes immune to the psychic moves, and then that way. Um, we're just gonna keep snarling with you. And I'm gonna extreme speed the, sc the skill villain. Just to get the kill. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, we then it's Icy Wind. So it does have ice coverage. And Umbreon just isn't dying, which is really good. <laughs> really nice. Um, unfortunately, we won't see the damage, but... Okay, that's that's on the side. I'll give the KO to Arcanine. I don't, I don't th actually, I think Umbreon would pick up that KO. It'd be nice to see how much damage the extreme speed would do them. But um okay, so I know the bravery can live a flame some boosted flamethrower plus a heat wave in rain, which is really nice. Um I like the bravery, but I don't know if I want to need it. Obviously the CGI it doesn't do well into the double fire, so like I'm a little bit skeptical about that. So I'm thinking about leading Luxray plus Umbreon, bring you in the back, and I have a Braviary because if it can hit pretty much everything for pretty good damage, or Bunny. I mean, Bunny never got to actually do anything in that last game, and it is a Salt Burst. Didn't get to see if the Slowbro is physical or special, though. I'm not going to bring a Bravery this time, even though I probably could easily set a Tailwind. I just have a feeling that we're going to bring um, Slugger on the... That's all. Persian and Torkoal. Okay, well I'm Covert Cloak, so that's pretty nice. And I'm in a focus. So neither of these can be just faked out. Oh, I hope I'm in a focus. Yeah. So none of these can be faked out, which is pretty good. So honestly, in this scenario, I'm just going to light screen and rain dance. Oof. Can't be done. He definitely forgot about inner focus there. Little to no damage. It does get the burn, which is kind of annoying because it offsets my uh, leftovers. But it's, that's understandable. Uh, you're gonna you with the amount of flame throws and heat waves, you're bound to get one uh, to hit off. Which means my foul players aren't gonna be doing nearly as much damage. I don't really feel like terroring Luxray either, so I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt. I'm uh, going to go into the Persian, because I do feel like the Persian swaps out. In, of all uses parting shot. Swaps out the Torfall, though. Okay. Artifacts. Okay, that's interesting. De glad I didn't go for the Thunderbolt into that slot. Yeah, there's the parting shot. It's kind of annoying. Torkoal. 
It's all about debuff here, isn't it? Like, who can debuff the other more? Now, I don't really want to get a um, Dragon Dance off on that Arctivax. Light screen is up, plus it's been snarled, so like, it's not going to be taking a load. You resist, you're immune. Um, you also are immune to the dragon moves though, but if you get hit by a will o that's kind of annoying. Uh, Luxray, I think you've got a job to do later on. I don't know what that thing does. Honestly. I just don't want it dragon dancing. I think Umbreon's fast enough. And it depends on the speed though, it could uh, honestly be too slow. At least Luxray can cycle its Intimidate for afterwards. Terrify could be annoying, but I don't think Torka will terrify her. So what is this wildcard doing? Might be enough, might be enough to get what it needs to do to me. Yeah, Terra Blast fighting move into me. Not enough, not enough. <sighs> Didn't even think about the Earth Power switch. <laughs> Earth Power there. Good job I got the snarl. Damn, man. Didn't even cross my mind. I mean, there was a perfectly reasonable move to make as well. Uh, obviously, I can't hit that thing with fire move, and it could have a lava plume, but you didn't go for it. Kind of annoying. Um, the dark. Okay, I've got Bunny in the back, which is terrible round. Um... So I think it's just better to go for the rock slide here. And Umbreon's gonna die, but... A burnt foul play versus... Uh, it resisted as well, I don't think it's gonna be enough. So I think I just gotta go for it now. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that, because I'm going for the rock slide. Okay, yeah, no, this is, this is, this works out, this works out. Oof, that's really good damage. That's frustrating. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Because we're faster than Sko Villain. So we can always extreme speed with this. Not faster, but we've got priority. And I should survive a second Earth Power after a, uh, after a Snow. Um, and I think I can then use Terra Ground on a Zoom Rail if I need to. Or Terra Ground on Luxray. This should allow me to survive. Yep. It's good. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've got the kill of the Sco villain. Ombreon is a beast and surviving. Persian's kind of annoying. More annoying is the fact that I can't uh, protect here. And so we're going to have to swap in Vapor Bunny. Um, and we're going to have to Rain Dance on this turn, even though they could swap out. So I don't feel like losing my extreme speed mod just yet. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> Yeah. 
makes sense that I'm swapping that one out. I can see a part and shot come in here. Mm. So I could rain dance again to kill for the kill, but I think we just go for the play rough into Artabax and do I just rain dance again? I mean I could try and taunt the Persian, but I think I just found play. Oh, okay, it didn't go for the parting shot. That's interesting. Maybe he's worried about getting hit by a one, but I don't know. Okay, protect. Omrion's faster, though. And I still got a snarl off into the... Well, no, I foul played. Should have gone for the snarl. I can see a solar beam coming, but... I don't think he can really do anything about that. Um, let's just go for the play rough into Art de Bact and just rain dance. Azumarill should move slower, but I can't think of a move Arctobax gets that hits Azumarill for super effective. The rain dance comes up, stops Solar Beam from being a thing, because I am faster than the Arctobax with Umbreon, because we saw the taunt into it earlier on, move before the uh, hit. That's okay as well, in my opinion, because we're going to get a good hit into the Persian as well with this play rough. This stops Solar Beam from being a thing. Doesn't quite kill them. That's that's upsetting. Fur coat. Just keeping him in there. Just don't burn me on the rabbit. I, I don't mind. Thank you. Um. I'm just gonna go for the play rough into the Persian slot. And just snarl. There's not much else I can really do. He's he's just having to cycle the weathers and stuff, but as long as I'm faster, it should be fine. Yeah, there's the fake out, but he needs the up backs on the field at the same time. And I still have four mons. One of which I can swap it on Brian out for. Get uh, the <sighs> luxury on the field and intimidate. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the right play because I think he swaps in on that side. So let's get that off on there. Let's get luxury back. Let's get luxury back in. Because if I can rain dance on the Torco with Umbreon, as long as I want, he could go for a fake. He could go for a parted shot here, but the intimidate's nice. Either way, okay, that was not expected. Ugh, this is a lot of positioning. I think I'm s as long as I'm whittling down their team, Arcanine's still good position to get like an a um, a good attack off. Um, the only problem is the Torkoal getting a salt beam off is frustrating. I don't want to tear ground because I don't want to get hit by an ice move. Uh, you have to do that. I think we just go for the tear ground on Luxray into the Torkoal. Gets the kill. I 
don't I don't know if Thunderbolt does. Let's try it. I'm not, I can't see any other places I would terror. Yeah. So he's going for the grass move into Zuno, maybe. Gets the kill on Cole. Which is good because it's finally out of the picture. And Zuno is still in a very good place into the little arch backs. And what he doesn't know is that he can't fake out Jolt, uh, my Luxray. Um, I need to get it in range, but I also need to stop Persian from being an absolute nightmare. Yeah, Thumbolt's going to do more damage into either of these, so... He's just protected, so let's just go for a bit of that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I want Arcanine to be able to threaten these mons with a Intimidate. Yeah. Doesn't quite kill. Which is all I needed it to do. We go for a play rough into you. And I think your the Persian's in, in range, so we just go for a front wall the Outbox. I don't know if the Persian can kill. Damn it. I shouldn't I should have played around that. That's okay though, I think. We bring Arcanine out. Because we can extreme speed kill the Persian, but the Persian might not die. The Persian might not die. I could lose that this because you probably die to me I can't protect we need to kill the uh, Persian huh Persian needs to die but do does a play rough kill out backs from here? I feel like it very much could. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that you were going to go for a party shot there. It's just chip, it's just chip. Because that thing's gonna kill Umbreon. And there's nothing I can do to stop that. Just hit your play rough. Hit your play rough. Thank you. I needed that dad. I needed that dad. I don't know how much speed I'm running on my arc. So I'm just going to try and double check this quickly. Because my Arcanine should be faster than my Umbreon. If that's the case, which it is, I should be able to just freely flare blitz. And that should definitely guarantee the KO. This kills. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, shit. And I just boosted its attack. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I should have gone for it. I should have gone for a guaranteed hit because if, if Playriff misses now, then I, I lose. I lose. I didn't have Aqua Jet. Ah, uh, that was so dumb of me. Oh, that was, that was so dumb of me. I should have just gone for the guaranteed hit. 
I should have just gone for the guaranteed hit. Oh, I played that reckless again. I thought Flare Blitz would for sure kill. Ooh, that was a fun game, though. That was close. I don't know how would uh, it come, come back in game three. Ooh. That was very close. He actually did some really good switch pivoting. Um, on Monza, I wasn't always expecting as well, and he caught me, me out a little bit a few times uh, with those earth powers and stuff. Really long game, that game too. Uh, definitely anyone's game for a long time. Um, again, the early burn off onto the Umbreon was pretty good for him as well because it just stopped my Umbreon from healing up on all those turns, uh, which would have been really nice considering those Terror Blasts were doing pretty good chunks to a, like a really bulky Umbreon. Um, definitely played needlessly reckless as well towards the end game after playing it so well conservative at the very start. Um, assuming some damage counts and stuff would just go my own way, it just wasn't a good idea. Um, but we got there, we got there. Very close. Uh, definitely red not bringing Aqua Jet on the uh, <laughs> as in the hit in that in that end game. Um, but we'll take it. Um, GG's uh, to Dilikan. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.